if you're looking for God using the lens of science, then you're using the wrong tool. Because things about the spiritual world and metaphysical world, you cannot use something which is physical to identify that. So you're using the wrong tool in the first place. So for you to say, I don't have evidence and you don't have evidence, your evidence suggests that... I'm going to stand here and say this is exactly what happened because none of us know. No, but your, your evidence or the, your criteria that you're looking for is something that is physical to find out about the metaphysical. Isn't that using the wrong tool? I'm just not going to stand here and say, I know what happened, I know that this is exactly why we exist, because I have no evidence to suggest that I do. So anyone that stands you mention there evidence again. And says, this is how it was, I know everything. No, no, you mention evidence again, but what is exactly you're looking for in order to find out there's a metaphysical world? scientific proof. That's how we live our lives. You're using the wrong tool Otherwise, then. Otherwise, you're just standing up there. Okay, let me ask you, do you have consciousness? Define consciousness. The fact that I am, you, I'm conscious, yeah. You're conscious of what? That you exist? Yeah, of my existence. And you're, you're certain about that? No. Why? <laughs> whom am I talking to then? If you're not certain about your own existence, whom am I talking to? Why are you looking for God? I don't understand. If you, if you are not even sure that you exist, then what science has concluded then based on your evidences that you're looking for? You don't even know that you exist. You see what I mean? So you see, the reason I asked you about consciousness is that because there's something called the hard, hard problem of consciousness. You heard of that, yeah? From the scientists' world. The reason they say that is because we all know we have consciousness. You cannot deny that. Yes? I exist, hence this is what consciousness basically is defined as. Now that is something which is immaterial and there's no way science can find out about this immaterial world using the tools of science because science like you said is what you observe, what you can measure, what you can see, yeah. these things you know. So it's beyond the bounds of science and you cannot use the tool of science which is limited in its ability to know about things which are immaterial. Like even your own consciousness, let alone God Almighty. Yeah. So. If anyone tells me that I know I am conscious, but I don't know if I exist, then they're not certain about themselves even. So everything you say is really meaningless because you don't even know if you exist. I'm, I'm just maybe talking to some atoms and molecules here. You see what I mean? You see? Well, I think you are actually. That's actually well, well atoms and molecules will not have the consciousness which you do. Because an atom by itself is unaware. You see what I mean? But you are quite aware but for example, if somebody wanted to hurt you, you will move away. But if there was a bunch of atoms, like for example, say a rock, yes? Do you think if we're going to hit the hammer, you'll realize that it's going to get hurt? So there I'm saying, okay. if you're going to use the wrong tools to identify things, then you'll not identify them. Okay. 